have adventured down to Graysonville today and we are going to get a tour of the Chester Y Center and we are going to go behind the scenes with two special guests so come on in and let's get the tour. I am here with two wonderful individuals. Um, Mr. Baker, how are you today? I'm doing good. Thanks for being here. Yes, thank you. And your title at Chester Y? I'm the chairman of the Chester Y Foundation. Wonderful, wonderful. And I'm also here with Deborah. How are you today? I'm fine. Great. Great. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. And your title at Chester Y? I'm the executive director. Great. So we are behind the scenes and we are getting a first class tour of Chester Y. So Deborah's going to give us um, some of the rooms and what happens in some of the rooms. Yes. So what is this room that we're in today? This life room skills. is called Life Skills. Sarah just told you it's Life Skills. <laughs> and one of the things that's happening is that people are doing some labeling of the RSVP invitations for the dinner auction. Some people are on the computer. Um, Bonnie is there at the... The exercise. exercise machine. Um, Sarah's a person that goes to the Little Lamb Station and she reads to the children. Oh, uh, nice. Once or twice a week, Sarah? Twice. Do you go once a week to Little Lamb? Twice. twice. Twice a week. Yeah. So, so that's their outreach. They go out and involve in the community. Yeah, so Sarah goes and reads to people, and so it's a great, great process. Great, yeah. great. And uh, then we've... And we have Sherry, who is the director of this program. And um, so we've got some, you know, pre-work with regard to math and reading and using coins and really wanting to get people more involved in the community. Nice. So. Very good. Okay. So Ashley is making sure that people are well hydrated, wanting to make sure that people's health is going good. And so she takes around her water and asks people if they want water. And then you're heading back to the kitchen to be able to help? Miss Debbie. You're going to go help Miss Debbie in the kitchen. All right. Cool. Take care. Thanks, Ashley. So one of the next rooms we're going to go into is the sensory room. What exactly takes place in this room? The sensory room is one of those important rooms for people that happen to use wheelchairs. They need to be repositioned every hour and so that they don't get any pressure sores. Okay. And um, they just need to get out of their wheelchairs and stretch. and stretch. That's right. And so it's a way for people to have quiet. So sometimes we have people that have some behavioral challenges and um, and they need to just come in and chill for a while. and But it's a really wonderful place for people to come and just give that break to their, to their mind as well as to their body. Great, so, so let's go in. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Okay, so one of the things about the sensory room is it really does provide a place for us to have people be relaxed, to provide challenges or to provide opportunities for their back and for their their whole body to relax, yes. as well as their head if they happen to be having. But the other thing is you look around, we've got some a big technology here. Yeah. And so it's a real opportunity for people to to use that technology we are always searching for more, more technology looking for ways that we can improve what we're providing supports and you know if people are wanting to make contributions technology is one of those ways that Definitely. we use people's funds to to help people's lives perfect so um, we're in another room at Chester Y. What is this room? This is called the, the contract room okay and it's where people work on putting together bubbles that will be then put um, sold to a where we've got a contract to pro develop these bubbles and it goes back and the company puts them in vending machines very nice so they collect them from the vending machines and uh, people get their prizes nice so, so they fill them this they're is their assembling job. The, the the bubbles very good. Putting those special prizes in. Yes, so you see those at the grocery store. You put the yep. quarter in, you yep. get the free gift. Yeah, you're this right. This is where it happens. This is where it happens. <laughs> Great. So we're in the next room, pretty fairly large room. It looks like everybody's lounging. Yes. So what happens in this room? This is the room that used to be the seniors' room, and it's for people that are over the age of 55 
that are really just kind of chilling, waiting to go into the community. Sometimes they go to the senior center. Sometimes they too go, some of them go to Sudlersville. Okay. Some people will go to the Y. Um, and, you know, they're retired age. Right, so they're so just hanging out. So it's just like, hang. Yeah. So, but this is the the room where I have been able to find that the people that we support have some incredible strengths. Uh-huh. And it really kind of builds upon that whole concept that is that we are trying to make our the tenants of Chester Y that we believe that everybody can succeed in the community when given the appropriate support and that everybody has hidden talents that when discovered lead to amazing outcomes. Yes. This is Mr. Niles. You okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> cool beans. So Mr. Baker is going to introduce one of the individuals who is one of my friends that comes to see me at Edwards Pharmacy. This is Danny. Yep, Danny Thomas. That's right. <laughs> and uh, I've known Danny since he was a little boy and watched him grow up and used to work at school, didn't you? That's right. And he used to work at the school helping out. Retired from that, actually. There you go. So now you get to come to Chester Y and, and lounge and hang out for the day. Yes, ma'am. Great, great. I don't know if I see him. And you get to see Mr. Baker. Yeah, lunch together. Oh, yeah. Yep, we have lunch together sometimes. Oh, nice. This is Billy Walker. And for about the, what, about the last three or four years at our dinner auction, he says the prayer. Oh, okay. Yes. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. Sometimes we got to shut him up. He talks too much. <laughs> And he talks. <laughs> oh, he uh, talks too much too. He does. So he be saying the, the prayer this year. If he wants to say it, you want to say the prayer this year? I do it. it, it it's got to be sitting down because I I can't stand in the morning. Sitting down. Well, that's sit, okay. Sit down and do it. Cause I can do it this year. Great. That's what we'll do. All right. That that, that plan just happened right there now. There you go. <laughs> so I am here with uh, dear friend Ruth, and you're going to tell us about some of the things that you do at Chester Y. I did this one. You direct it? Yes. The choir? Yes. Okay. You want to show us how you did it? I did it. Can how you sh- can you show us how you dance? How you directed the choir? Yeah. Very good. Very good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so the greenhouse that's being built, uh, it rebuilt, is the Rhodes home. Okay. And that's the home that Dr. Rhodes was instrumental in getting built, one of the homes. Okay. And uh, on January 22nd of last year, 2016, we had the big fire. Uh-huh. That I got the call at 419 in the morning. Oh, my goodness. By 2.30 that afternoon, we had snowmageddon starting. Wow. But our staff person, Shawnee Morrow, was the epitome of professional and that she got all four guys out of the house safely and, you know, there was no house left after the fire. And so within the past year, we've been working and rebuilding it and we are extremely pleased. It is becoming um, one of the models in that we have really looked forward to building the house to accommodate the guys so that they're going to be able to age in place. Right. And these homes um, house some of the individuals that come to the All center. of the homes. Okay. I mean, they don't... You have ho- nine. We have nine homes. Correct. Yes. Yes. As we're walking towards one of the new houses, um, Mr. Baker's going to give us a little bit of history yep. about this house and the, the area. This is this is a good story. Okay. And you're going you're gonna to enjoy this. Um, I forget how many years it was. Uh, maybe... 10 years ago, 12 years ago, uh, Joe Downey, uh, Maurice Sanger, Uh and another group all got together and and secretly put together enough money to build this, to build a house here. And it it was to honor Dr. Harry Rhodes. Uh Uh-huh, yes. He was one of the founders of this institution. And... I'll never forget it. We met at uh, Mr. Jim Friel, Jim Friel Jr. met at his house, had a nice party there. Dr. Rhodes did not know what was happening. <laughs> he didn't have a clue. He and his wife came in and uh, he was presented a check for this house to be named after him. And then we took off, took the ball and, and rolled and built a house for him. 
So here we are. We're getting ready to get an inside tour of the house. Yeah, it's beautiful. You're going to love it. So we're in one of the rooms, and um, you were telling us the, the families, the four gentlemen that do live here, their families are involved in the building of this? Well, three of the men do have families uh -huh. with, that are involved. One of the guys does not have a family. But those that have had families, they, the people that are receiving supports, as well as the families who are involved in choosing the colors of the paint, choosing the furniture. Um, we worked with the builder with regard to the layout, but really looking to make the people understand this is their home. Right, so they got to choose the color of the paint and what they're comfortable with. That's right, and um, it's a very cool deal. And then one of the uh, people who does not have a family, because he doesn't have any family involvement, we gave him the bigger room and said, you know what, you get some extra. He's also been with us the longest. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we've got that. So we have the four bedrooms here for the four guys that live here, as well as the counselor's office uh, room. So we have a, a counselor that sleeps here seven days a week, okay. and then she's off, and then another sub, somebody else comes in seven. So seven on, seven off. So one of the things she was saying about they build the houses um, to the guys' needs and to um, technology into the future to assist them and help them in everyday living. As you can see, we're going to go into one of the bathrooms, yep. and this shows you exactly um, making it easier for them to get around and to get into the shower and to be Looking able to... Looking toward the future, that's right. So it's a rolling shower so people can use the, the shower... As people, they're using a wheelchair as they get, you know, older and need that, have that need. The bench. The drop down bench. Um, and, and we're looking at, we've just gotten the, sh the shower things. So we'll be looking at really making this usable for them for all many years. Yes, wonderful. Many years. Wonderful. Um, as I'm heading out of the tour of the house, I'm noticing all these buses. Um, Mr. Baker, what exactly are the buses for? Well, we use the buses, obviously, to transport our, our people uh, to jobs, from their homes to here, vice versa. And the county's been great to us. If you look down there, you'll see two new ones. Queen Anne's County provided them. Very nice. We, very nice. we approached the commissioners, and they were very generous, and they helped us out. Um, they're not cheap. I bet, yes. And, uh, but it's definitely safe for the individuals to yep. get from point A to point B. Right, and they're handicap accessible, the whole works, uh, so we're, we're good to go. Very good. Well, thank you so much for uh, coming in on our tour today and uh, definitely giving us the inside tour of uh, Chester Y and the foundation. And thank you so much for supporting a wonderful organization. Well, it's my pleasure. Um, our family's always been involved in it. My brothers, all, the whole Baker family, the Ewing family, and... Um, we just want to help, like I said earlier, we want to help people who can't help themselves. Well, thank you so much. So as we're coming to an end at our tour at Chester Y, we have ended in the cafeteria. That's right, it is lunchtime, and as you can see, everyone is excited. Um, they have lunch here every day. Every day, and Monday so through Friday. And menu or something? Different menu, yes, and we are very pleased that we get volunteers and, and we get donated food from the food bank as well as from Trader Joe's. And so it's really been wonderful for our budget, but especially because it provides a different variety of food, yes. which is so cool. Great. So we have come to the end of our tour with Deborah. Um, if we want to thank you for allowing us to come and tour the facility and letting everyone know um, what Chester Y does for the individuals. Yes, we do um, a lot and we try and meet the needs of people and try and anticipate needs as well. Yes, and if someone is looking to volunteer or donate, um, where are they able to do that and who to contact? Well, I think the best is to contact Gina Lancaster again, and uh, her phone number is 410-827-7048, extension 10, mm, extension 301. Okay, perfect, and that's right here at the center. Right here at the center. And uh, donations can be sent to P.O. Box 96, Graysonville, and that's Chester Y. Perfect. So thank you so much for the tour. And definitely, um, if they're willing and they want us to come down and see the facility, more Please than call. Welcome. Please call. We'd be very happy to provide a tour and provide other ways of showing you how the money that's, that people donate and the county donates, how it is all spent and used to really support people with disabilities. Perfect. Thanks for tuning in.